What is up guys, Photo Fever here, and welcome back to another Tuesday Two Minute Tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can create a preset in the Camera Raw filter to really speed up your editing workflow. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and open up a photo in the Camera Raw filter. Now you can either use a RAW or a JPEG photo, but in this particular case, I'm gonna be using a RAW photo I've recently taken. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just double click and this will automatically open up in the Camera Raw filter. Now as you can see, I have already edited this photo. So if I go ahead and go to my Basics tabs, you can see on the right hand side here, you can see already the sliders have been changed. But what happens if I want to replicate this style of work? Well, this is actually going to be very difficult if you don't use presets. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can make them. So once you're in the camera raw filter, all you'll need to do is go to your sliders on the right hand side here and next to them, you will see some icons. And the one in the bottom right hand corner is called presets or shift P on your keyboard. What we're gonna do is go ahead and click it like so. And this will open up your preset section in the camera raw filter. Now to create a brand new preset, all you'll need to do is right click in that gray spare area and we're gonna go ahead and just simply press create preset. Now in this create preset, you can see the types of things that you can actually create as an action. So you can see all of the basic sliders are here. You've got your curves, your details, your color mixer, color grading, and you've got everything else here. So all you'll need to do now is just simply name it. So I'm going to just go ahead and name this test. Now, obviously you can also put them in groups as well. So I'm just gonna create a new group and I'm just going to call this test for this particular case. And all I need to do now is simply click OK. Now what happens then is it will automatically save it. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and click OK and as you can see, we've now got a test one here. So if I go ahead and change it to a different preset, as you can see, it's a slightly different look. If we go back to test, what it'll do is it'll revert back to what the original settings looked like. And this can create a really quick editing workflow, especially if you shoot in RAW. And there we go, guys. Here is the before and here is the after. And we did that simply in one click. 